It is unheard of for medical journals to get blowback for studies before the data is published. But that is precisely what happened last fall, as editors were about to post several studies that claimed the link between red meat consumption and cardiovascular disease was too weak to recommend that we eat less red meat. The editor was bombarded with thousands of emails, particularly from a nonprofit called the True Health Initiative, about retracting the studies prior to publication. This makes a lot of sense. Too many people have built their entire careers on false information, especially dietitians. You can make arguments that the majority of diagnoses and procedures that doctors MDs perform are orchestrated around big pharma's goals of making money, but doctors still do some good here and there. The same can't really be said about dietitians as they are flat out wrong on diet. Thing is, most people don't know this, and the hive mind is rarely confronted, but they really do panic and piss their panties when their reality flashes before their eyes. Of course, the True Health Initiative has numerous industry ties that profits from people eating less red meat and more plant-based. You know what's really funny though? Now that there are studies showing red meat is good, they're suddenly saying, the average research study in nutrition is just lower quality basically saying that nutritional epidemiology is dumpster trash. But what about the dozens of years of using studies to shove plant-based diets down people's throats, to stuff people full of corn, soy, grain, processed foods? Now that studies go against your agenda, they're suddenly invalid? Sounds like vegan cherry picking to me. Let's take a step back and look at the study. Four systematic reviews addressed the health effects associated with red meat and processed meat consumption, and one systematic review addressed people's health-related values and preferences regarding meat consumption. The panel suggests that adults continue current on processed red meat consumption. Similarly, the panel suggests adults continue current processed meat consumption. Now, I'll be the first person to tell you that high-quality animal foods are the healthiest thing you can eat, whether it be raw dairy, wild-caught fish, pastured pork, free-range chicken, or truly grass-fed beef. I'll also be the first person to point out an industry show. The leader of the study, Bradley C. Johnston, received funding from a nonprofit, the International Life Sciences Institute, which is funded by various big agro companies like Cargill and General Mills. Others were linked to the nonprofit shadow company as well. Basically, Half the people in this study had ties to Texas beef companies. Pretty sad how these corporations can tie up their money in nonprofits to do their bidding. The response from the plant-based puss boys is dramatic because they knew about the study several days before it was published. There's something called an embargo policy, which means that only certain people can access a study before it's officially published. But since the folks from the True Health Initiative were bombarded barring the editor's email four days beforehand, there was a breach of data. It's really frightening that this group, which includes people like Walter Willett and Frank Hugh at the Harvard School of Public Health, which happens to be my alma mater, were aware of this and assisting it. If you guys have been paying attention to mainstream nutrition information at all, you'll know that Harvard is one of the biggest shields for plant-based dieting. Oh my god, Harvard, I love your nutrition. It's, it's ridiculous. Another blatant one being the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Coincidentally, Walter Willett was trained at Loma Linda University, an institution of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Frank Yu is also affiliated with the church, speaking at a Seventh Day Adventist event. To summarize this church's goal, John Harvey Kellogg from Kellogg Cereal was a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. He invented cornflakes to lower children's sex drive as they had beliefs against sexual behavior. Not only that, he used various devices to prevent children from masturbating, including directly mutilating their bodies. Uh, definitely not the first thing you think of when people say the word Harvard. These people really wanted to take that red meat study down. They partnered with very high level people in the industry, medical doctors, nutrition professors, all of who signed letters for the editor to retract the article before it was published. 
going as far as to petition the Federal Trade Commission to correct false statements regarding consumption of red and processed meat released by the Annals of Internal Medicine. Many of those people are from an organization called the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Their mission statement being, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine is a non-profit research and advocacy organization based in Washington, D.C., which promotes a plant-based diet, preventative medicine, and alternatives to animal research and encourages what it describes as higher standards of ethics and effectiveness in research. What do physicians and responsible medicine have to do with the plant-based diet? Just like the cattle industry is funding the big beef shales, there's plenty of funding behind these vegan puss boys. The California Walnut Commission, Almond Board of California, the International Nut and Dried Fruit Council, the Peanut Institute, and a bunch of others, but I wanted to make a joke about Big Nut funding everyone. What's despicable is that these companies are making so much money, they're able to throw hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars at lobbying propaganda. This is the difference between large-scale producers and your local farms. The input for conventional agriculture is cheap and their profit margin is incredibly high. Plus, they receive subsidies. On the other hand, it costs more to raise quality food, therefore local farms aren't exactly going to have the money to lobby for more business. And even if they could, what kind of evil person promotes propaganda instead of improving the quality of the food products they're offering? There's a difference between lying and advertising. Instead of having truly pasture-raised chickens, they you know, pay various government bodies to change the definition of what pasture raised is. It sounds pretty whack when you think about it. The worst part about this is the customer is suffering. You have vegans battling carnivores, keto dieters battling standard American dieters, all of these mini battles between different dietary communities, and I'm stuck here in the middle of it all, pointing out the lies, and receiving massive amounts of hate from all angles. Uh, so this is why, you know, I started Frankie's Free Range Meat. This is why I'm looking to start a farm this year. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone that would be willing to have their farm or their business truly owned by the people and set profit aside for the health and well-being. And to me, it only seems reasonable with how our current food system is going and that it really is in jeopardy with these big companies controlling. That's the only way to go. I'm really looking forward to getting you know, Frankie's free range farm, you know, the logistics of that to you guys soon, because if we're able to combine our money in a way, have the company publicly owned, you know, who knows what that opens things up in the future. It might be, you know, a step in the direction of local farmers taking back what they truly deserve. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please share the video, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, definitely leave a comment below. If you guys want to support me further, definitely check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. That is available down in the description. Guys, please leave a review on Amazon if you've checked it out, if you want to help me out. Uh, thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.